Kristen with Lulu Road, Kristen S. And we are here today to talk about the Carly and the Scarlet. And I am so lucky. I have a special guest today, and her name is Emma. Emma, come on up. This is Emma, Emma Kate. She is my daughter. Emma, how old are you? Four. Four. Four and a half. Four and a half. That's a big four and a half. So we are today wearing the Scarlet. And mommy is wearing the Carly. So the yes. So the Scarlet is the little girl version of the Carly. And so we're going to talk about different ways to style the Carly and different ways to style style the Scarlet. So first, I wanted to show you that some of so Carlys, some Carlys have pockets. The Scarlet, some Scarlets have pockets. This Scarlet does not have a pocket. There's no pocket on this one. So some of them do have pockets and then some of them do not. This is one of the ones that do not have pockets. So I wanted to first tell you that this is an extra, extra small Carly that I am wearing. You're very distracting, Mommy. <laughs> this is an extra, extra small Carly that I'm wearing, but it's still a little too big. So what I do is I ruche it in the back. And that's the first technique I'm gonna show you on my lovely assistant, Emma, is the ruching technique. So for this technique, we are going to use hair ties. These are little girl hair ties. We got them at Walmart. I think we got all of these for maybe $2. And we are also going to use a quarter. The quarter is important because it keeps the ponytail holder from slipping and so that you, um, the, the style stays. So we're going to start. We need two hair ties for this look. And I'm going to ask Miss Emma Kate to turn around carefully. She is standing on a chair today. Okay. So here we are, and I'm going to go from behind. If I'm doing this myself, I might take my Carly off, turn it uh, inside out, and put it on backwards and put the ponytail. So you can do two choices when you ruche. You can ruche in between your shoulder blades or in your back, or you could even go lower in the small of your back. This one I have here is in the middle of my back, and when I did it on myself, I turned it inside out and backwards, and I did my ponytail right around my belly button. You can also do it right here on yourself, and it would be in between your shoulder blades. So for Little Miss Emma, we're going to go right here. It's a little big. This is a size 4. Um, scarlet, but it's still a little big on her, so we're going to pull this fabric here right near her shoulder blades just to take it in mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to start, and I'm going to take my quarter. I'm going underneath, and I am pulling. Oopsie, I'm sorry. I'm taking my quarter, and I'm going on top. My hand is underneath, and the quarter is in the Carly. I'm sorry, the Scarlet. She's wearing the Scarlet. I'm taking my ponytail. Let me turn around and look at the closet. And I am tying the quarter. Oops, that's right there. So I'm going to go underneath. <laughs> so there is the knot, and the quarter oh, is is right here and we're going to squeeze the quarter up a little bit so we have a little bit of fabric here and we're going to take another ponytail holder and we're going to go around this little bit of fabric can you turn around and look at the closet for mommy okay so we have the ponytail holder Look at that. There's a frog in the sky. That is silly. Okay, we have the ponytail holder here. Then we have the quarter, and then we have the other ponytail. You want to keep it in there? Okay, we got to do the buttons too. And what I just did is I flipped it up so the quarter is laying flat on her back. And so it's tightened it up just a little bit through the chest. Mm -hmm. And then it makes this really cute. Turn around. Turn, 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 turn. Makes that cute little ruching. And turn back around, honey. It ha brings up the bottom just a little bit and creates a little bit of like a tail, which is very, very cute. Okay. So that is look. That is look number one. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take out. We have to do the buttons. I'm going to keep it in. Okay. 
I hope we have enough, we should have enough fabric. Okay. So the next look to do with the Carly or the Scarlet are the buttons. And you can use trusty old quarters for the buttons. And what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath. And I like to do three buttons. We only have two quarters left since she doesn't want to take out the other quarter. So I like to do three buttons, one in the middle and then two on the sides. But we're just going to do two today. So I'm going to go right here. And Emma does not have a pocket on this, um, Carly. If she did have a pocket, we would have to adjust where we're going to put the quarters so that it looked nice. So this is button one. Button one. I'm going underneath. And so this one I don't like. I'm taking it out. Why? I'm going to move it over and down because it doesn't look right. It's not in the right spot. Hmm. Like a dolly. There we go. Do I need this right there? What do you mean? The right. So now she has two little buttons on her. I want to do both. I want to keep them in. You wanted to keep them in? And this. And one. this one? Well, I have to take these out because I'm going to show them a bow. Yeah. Ready? Okay, so let's take these out. So those are the quarters. I'm going to actually bring you up a little bit closer, Emma, so they can see the quarters and the buttons. Ding, ding, ding. So cute. <laughs> yeah. Show people how amazing you really are. Uh, All right, we're gonna drop a quarter. Ready? Bing. Now this next looks looks really cute with leggings, and since we're getting ready for fall, ding. You can pair this with a pair of leggings. So Emma has her favorite purple leggings on. Purple. Purple is Emma's favorite color. So we're gonna make a bow. Now, if she had a pocket, you would want to go on the side opposite of your pocket. Like these two. Yep, okay. But can, can Mommy do it, honey? Okay, so her bow is going to go over here onto this side. So I'm going to pull two pieces of fabric up. I'm going to make two ponytails. See? Two little ponytails. And I'm going to pull, pull, pull. And you can grab. Well, let's put your arms under mine. There we go. All right, let's try one more time. Those arms are in the way. So here is her belly button, and I want to pull up the ponytail, ponytail, ponytail. All right, now we have two little pet ponytails or rabbit ears or whatever you want to call them, and I'm actually going to put them together and take my ponytail holder and just go around. Can you keep the belly too? Oh, I messed it up. I got it too tight. Hold on. It's not too tight. I did the bow too tight. There we go. That's what I did wrong. There we go. Da -da, da -da, da -da. You're moving, making it hard. So I pulled the fabric too far out. So I'm pushing my finger back in. This would be another great place for a quarter to help keep the fabric in place. So I'm taking a quarter, smushing it in there. Smushing, 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 smushing. And I'm pulling the fabric out. Ta-da! And I made a really cute bow. bow. Ta-da! Okay, let go of your bow so they can see. And you can pull it and it'll lay flat. And then you get this really cute the tails of the bow right here. Tails! I don't know where you get tails. You don't have tails? No, no, tails no. of the bow right here. Okay. No. And Emma? I said no. You just sit down? Okay. Do you think Monica should do the rest of the looks for us? Yes. Yes? Okay. Monica is our model. She is our mannequin. Okay. This is Monica. And she has a Carly and a classic tee on. And the way I made this look was very simple. This is an extra, extra small Carly and an extra, extra oh, small cool. classic tee. And all I'm doing is pulling the classic tee to the side. Twisting, 
and making a knot. Super duper easy. Ta-da! And then you get the skirt look. You get the skirt look and a shirt look. Now you're ready? Okay. All right. So we're going to take out this. We have to take out for our next look. Once we're all done, I'll make I'll do whatever style you want me to, okay? Right. Maybe we watch TV. Yeah. Okay. Where's the quarter? The quarter fell. But it fell on the carpet, so it didn't make a sound. Okay. Our next look with the Carly is we're going to knot it. So Emma is wearing oh, it? Oh. in the bottom. So Emma is wearing it with her leggings. And so this is a great look for fall. You can pair it with a jean jacket. And it has spot leaves on it. And it has spot leaves on it. And it has beautiful paisley print on this one, doesn't it? And you just knot it up. Looks really cute. And then you could wear it with a pair of boots. Add your little jean jacket. Add your little jean vest. Get a Sarah. Get a Soraya for the little girl. Ta-da! Okay, and Mommy's last look. Mommy is going to put on her Irma. So... I am wearing my Carly, and here is my Irma, and this is a great fall look as well, because in the summer you might not want to wear this, it's a little too hot with all the layerings, we live in Florida. Alright, so I'm putting my Irma on over my Carly, and I'm adjusting it. Okay, and I'm taking my Carly. I'm sorry, I'm taking my Irma and I'm pulling it up. And you can either knot over here on the side. I'm going right under my bra line. I'm twisting it. My mom is crazy. <laughs> twist, twist, twist. Knot, knot, knot. Black. Black. Can you move out of the way, please? Ugh. And I'm nodding Black. and I'm pulling the tail. I'm pulling the tail through. Ta-da! You can wear it like this, or you can knot it in in the middle, which looks really cute, too. I like it to the side. Yellow. And it gives you a fun little uh, look. Uh-oh. Uh, we have a spill of bunny uh, holders. So the Carly looks like a skirt, like a high-waisted skirt, and the Irma is sitting right under your bra line. All right, guys, that's it for us today. Those are the different ways to wear the Carly, the different ways to style it. Ponytail. You have to have your ponytail holders and your quarters, so remember that. Easy knots to do, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to join us on Facebook at LuLaRoe Kristen S. And follow us on Instagram. Sending you much Lula love from our family to yours. Bye.